fail. So I've installed the G the CPU block as you can see already. What we're gonna do next is install the radiator and the fans. Like I said, I'm replacing the stock fans with these Corsair ones. You get better static pressure. And then we're going to install the reservoir. Um, double check all the fittings. Then we're going to get the water, um, dye it up to the colour we want. And then once we've done that, we're going to start cutting the, or measuring the tube length that we want first. Because obviously we want it to go from there to there, but not have too much. We don't want it like bending like that, because that will restrict the air or the water flow. So yeah, we do all that. Over the next few minutes, I'll do it in time lapse mode. That way, it's a lot quicker for you all. So, I right, hope you enjoy the time. Okay, now that we have the radiator installed, as you can see, uh, I'm going to look for a decent way to put the pump. I did think about putting it up here, but that would leave a small gap for the tubes to go around, so that really didn't work out that well. So what I could do is I could also pull off the back no. What I'll do is probably just attach to the bottom using this pad. So I'll put it on the bottom there and then on there with this like that. So that it will be isolated from the case so any vibrations will be absorbed by the foam and then that gives us a nice route down there and then up there to up there to go from there to there from there to there from there to there so not a bad little route um the only problem is this part here i'll probably do it out around and then up there but we'll see when I come to that so yeah let's get to that part I'll be looking at the fitting making sure every fitting is there and then start planning out the, the um well like I said planning out the tubes and then cutting and then fitting so yeah, I'll also do that in another time lapse. So back in a few minutes.
think it went like that. So from the time lapse, I can think I forgot to add this in during the time lapse, and that's about it. So we've got this coming out to up to here and going out to the radiator and the radiator going back down into this one I also push this back a bit because it's more stable back there so um, what I'm going to do is mix up this with some red dye or whatever you want to call it until we get a nice colour I've been told that the colour that you see in here will be a lot lighter once you put it in the tubes so we're going to put it you can't see you so put it quite a bit in so it go pretty nice with the female of our build black and red so shake it up might add a bit more in there like I just said these I've been told that it will go lighter let's see how dark we can get it okay that looks like a nice colour so what we're going to do is I have a funnel here that conveniently fits perfectly snug inside that through pressure fit. I'm going to do that uh, in time lapse. Oh, no, forget the time lapse. Uh, we'll just do it right now. Hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. I have everything connected up ready to turn the pump on. So what you want to do, I've been told, is that you put it in small bursts, let's say you fill the reservoir up a tiny bit, until like halfway possibly, probably. So what we don't want to do is have it run dry because that'll be bad. Oh, it's overfilled the um, thing then. Getting close. So it's one more sec. So my the tube it came out of the tube. So just put it back in. And then fill it up until That should be about right. Almost there. Love the sound of that. Nice, it looks like we got it now. Fill it up a tiny bit more. Okay. 
Okay, so there you go. The reason it's running like that is because of the air that's trapped in there. So, yeah. oh, there you go. Look at that. That's pretty sweet, don't you think? Right, so, let's turn that off. Yeah, so as you saw, there's quite a bit of air still in there. So, it looks like you might have to use a bit more liquid. We don't want it to be so full that it um, comes out of this tube. We want it to go all into the... Looks like it is coming out so might have overfilled it by accident. But there's a good thing about being in the kitchen while doing this. Is you've got things to hand just in case. So yeah. So it looks like that is full up. It looks like we've got a pretty nice loop there. That sound is just the water and the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out quick. And then I'm going to replace it with the stopper. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm going to leave it running like that for a little bit. I'm going to put some tissue down now just to double check all the things. Yeah, that turned out really nice actually. Look at that. I might be pretty happy with that. I like that I added that now actually. So it adds a little bit to it instead of just a basic loop. Yeah, it well, had a bit of air to it, but uh, soon that should settle down. What I'll do is I'll rotate it multiple ways to try and get as much air out of it.